Saturday morning cartoons. This is the show where we watch old, forgettable, uh, boring, but sometimes great cartoons. Uh, today is one of those times, but um, today we're going to be watching a cartoon called Moon Dreamers. You ever heard of this one, Caitlin? Wow. No, never. Moon, Moon Dreamers. This was sent in to us by uh, Holly, who's a viewer, and um, it's had vague memories of this, but uh, that I hadn't seen it. Oop, there's the way. wrong close up. <laughs> but yeah, this is Moon Dreamers. As this was. I'll, I'll talk more about it. I'll pay more attention you to it than even to. the create than even the creators did. Um, hey, uh, so that's one of those kind of cartoons. But yeah. I'm excited for everybody to see it. Let's talk, uh, or let's watch a commercial that will explain a little bit more about the Moon Dreamers right away. Sold separately with a dream crystal. Starfinders come with a star friend. Does it remind oh you of any other like cartoons or anything? It, I mean, uh, it's got like I'll... really My Little Pony, like Lisa Frankie type, <laughs> Lisa Frankie, Lisa Frank ish vibes. And uh, but yeah, no, it's bizarre. I feel like, I feel like they could have called themselves the Dream Crystals as well as uh, you know, it would fit just as well as Moon Dreamers. Right. The Snooze uh, Kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love I love their uh, hair and I love um I love the phrase like I go for moon dreamers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I go for moon dreamers, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, their hair glows in the dark and then you get a little necklace uh, along with them. So that was I like a gimmick. The gimmick. That's a good gimmick. Yeah. Right. And it was a part of the My Little Pony verse. Okay. So the cartoon aired with My Little Pony, Glow Friends and the Potato Head Kids, which the thing they all have in common is their Hasbro products. So oh. that was part of the block. Hmm. Uh, but what's everybody eating and drinking from today? Uh, as you know, it's uh, what is it? Is it Women's History Month? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Or it's just yes, Women's it Month? Is. It's just regular mm -hmm. Women's Month? Or History women's month. month. Okay. Yeah. So um, do you remember, uh, Nick and George, on VCR Party when we thought it was International Women's Day and we played a couple <laughs> videos in honor yeah. of International Women's Day? Well, yeah. after that, and it wasn't International Women's Day. <laughs> um, it was like... International Women's Day from like uh, a different country, like France, <laughs> France Women's Day or something. But it we came up on McKenna's calendar, so we, yeah, we, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, we celebrated it, and uh, so after that, now you're Wayne taking it said, back. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. Yeah. Wayne sent me a mug uh, that said, "You are my oh. soul sister." She sent me this mug, and she said, "To my soul sister, Joe, Happy International <laughs> Women's Day." <laughs> so I thought that was nice. And there's a nice hey, little, every day uh, is International yeah. Women's Day for us. So right, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Um, I I don't have a mug or a bowl because we're remodeling our kitchen, but I do have this box of honey nut Cheerios that says grandpa for some reason. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're wow. doing the personifying thing like Coca-Cola did, I, right? Where they have everybody's names and you, yeah. I'm guessing. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I just, I had to have it. And, you know, I don't or have any living grandparents, but I guess I could like pour some of this out on their gravesite as, you know, you know as a sign of yeah. respect. So, do you, you know, they could be grandpa flavored. It could be that they're grandpa flavored. Oh, I didn't even think yeah. of that. That's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's probably what it is. Yeah. Do they taste like okay, grandpa? Right. Um, I'll have to let you know. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're really I don't want to say that sentence. Flavors. So, yeah. <laughs> I do think that would be respectful, though, to pour that in your grandparents' grave. So, right. Kaylin. Right. So, right yeah. after this, mm -hmm. spend your Saturday there. George, uh -huh. what do you have? Well, I've got, um, let's see, I, I have a cereal this week. This is, oh, uh, good. this is something, um, 
I, I've never had before. It's called um, uh, Macroplastics. It's uh, from oh, the makers of Microplastics. Nice. And okay. um, you can really taste the uh, the McDLT carton. Mm. Um, and oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think the weirdest thing about this is, I don't know if you can see this, free inside chicken carbonara. It's just in, <laughs> oh. It was just in a bag, like a complete, you know, I love chicken everything. carbonara. Yeah. yeah so you I know just, what? It pays it, for it's itself. Also, it's also good for the environment too, right? I, I didn't look at the back. Oh, um, okay. But, um, well, maybe it's bad for the environment. I yeah. don't know. One or the it's, other. Okay. Sounds delicious. Mm. I, uh, I'm i playing a little uh, fast and loose with my cereals. I, I'm normally a cinnamon crunch Toast Crunch Loyalist, but I went with Cinnamon Crunch. This is CT Crunch's competitor. And I've tried it. It's extremely cinnamony. Hmm. But um, I'm going to just say, uh, Captain Crunch, leave the cinnamon cereal business to uh, oh. at uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because, Nick, uh, get, getting a little catty yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, find the company that does it right, and then just stick with them. So, uh, but I also I have this mug that's topical now. This is a um, Sergeant Frank Drebin, uh, Lieutenant Police Squad. This is a um, Naked Gun when it came out on home video. Uh, Paramount, you you could get this souvenir mug, and but look at they spelled Lieutenant wrong. Lieutenant. Oh man, that's oh, great. So, yeah. What to find? Yeah, somebody has to call Paramount and. Uh, issue a correction i guess but that's like that inverted plane stamp it's worth so much because oh it, the upside the, down yeah um the frank drop an error mug is worth yeah more that's than the, well all the other ones got. are right yeah <laughs> yes well caitlin i'm going to lean on you to ask some moon dreamers related questions not that you're an expert in this but oh you, you mean because i'm a girl well <laughs> Just because you were yep. targeted in the same way that toys and, and cartoons were so gendered back in the day. Sure. And so this completely escaped my radar, even though um, it was an era where I would have watched cartoons of this ilk. Okay. Um, you would so, have watched this, yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, just this era of cartoons was my prime. This is 1986. This yeah. aired as part of the uh, My Little Pony and Friends. Um, and uh, this was part of the toys some cool little like play platforms and stuff it was all like celestial themed toys what are the guys on the right are those eggs are uh those eggs? are those are mischievous characters that i can't remember the name of but uh yeah uh, those little assistant guys hogwoggles hogwoggles oh, go there? right okay yeah, yeah. probably hogwoggles, hogwoggles? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no there are there are some characters called the sleep creeps i think um so what that's great yep. that's george's George. children yeah the sleep creeps <laughs> cool. um and yeah this was uh of course mentioned in a previous mask me another episode where nobody knew what the moon dreamers were <laughs> why would anybody get that i thought i recognized the impossible. name of this though from that yeah yeah cool. mm -hmm. and this was uh it's been on all these lists of cartoons that should be forgotten and never brought up again it is the most forgettable worst animated worst plotted um but not even in a remarkable way uh cartoon i think that we've ever watched it for that oh, i think man. it's perfect shattered a material because mm. who else is covering this nobody's no. doing a deep dive on right. Rain dreamers yeah. Uh, yeah i think there's a reason for it but yeah I, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and they were uh uh, Chuck Lorre wrote on this. You know how we've seen Chuck Lorre, uh, the famous TV writer, creator, sure. in a lot of these credits. He was in an episode I watched today. There are celestial people, the Moon Dreamers. They create and deliver pleasant dreams to people on Earth. Hmm. But there's an enemy. It's Queen Scowleen. And she's attempting to make everyone stay awake uh, through nightmare crystals. Scowleen, so I'm begging yeah. you, please don't take my man. I love that <laughs> Scowleen, name. Scowleen, Scowleen, <laughs> Scowleen. That is the best villain name ever. I love that. That's good. I That's didn't good. even occur to me. Um, Frank Welker is not in this, but the what? main voice oh, actress yeah, <laughs> is... Uh, the main character is played by uh, the main character is Crystal Star. Also, sounds like maybe a country a artist. Star. Oh, um, or yeah, or yeah, that country artist. That's right. But yeah. Tress McNeil uh, is the voice of Crystal Star, and she did all these other characters. We've got Gadget from Rescue Rangers, uh, Babs Bunny, uh, Dot from the Animaniacs, 
But I know her best uh, from The Simpsons. She did all these characters. On, uh, oh, wow. I know her voice. Lurleen. Yeah. Yep. Lurleen Lumpkin, right. Brandine, Dolph, uh, Jimbo, um, Mel Stacy's creator. No. Who's uh? I can't remember in the middle. She's always like well, the secretary. She's like the executive. The executive. She's always yeah. like the uh, yeah. yeah, proactive. Doesn't she use the word proactive? Yes, uh, yeah. Yes. And then yeah. Seymour Skinner's wife, um, etc. So, and huh. she also plays the uh, the villain though. She plays so she plays the protagonist and the villain, Queen Scalene, and uh, the mm -hmm. queen lives in the monstrous middle. There's like a tier where the you know the Moon Dreamers live, then the monstrous middle, and then Earth. And so yeah. she's trying to take over the starry up area that creates the dreams. There's really way too much uh, plot for, for this to make any sense. It's it's uh, well, you'll see in an episode we're going to watch where a new creature is introduced. How many really seasons? Dive in. uh, it just 16 episodes. 16 and episodes uh, they were all year. 15 minutes long. Yeah. And how do they deliver what? the dreams to the children? They'll like, go into it, injection? but I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand all all the lore to this, but okay. yeah, what kind, is it more I of a you're going to do a background, like a fifteen to twenty minute background on this? <laughs> no, I'm afraid it's not worthy of that. Drew. No. But I, really... I want to point out, I said yeah. Lurleen, but I meant Brandine. I know the, oh. the message boards are on fire right now. Yeah, um, was yeah. it Nagel? Lindsay Nagel was that the name of the? I think that's who the secretary businesswoman character is, Lindsay Nagel. Hmm. But anyway, um. Yeah, Moon Dreamers, they try to explain this. There was a great Charlie Kaufman movie um, called uh, Something in the Dark that just came out on Netflix hmm. that kind of has a similar premise, like where it's like dreams are being, you know, it's the, the team of people who create dreams and things like that. So the premise isn't bad. The execution leaves a little bit to desired. Uh, All right. To be desired. So here we go. Moon Dreamers. You're not dreaming. It's the Moon Dreamers. Dreaming up dreams for me and you. You're not dreaming, it's the moon dreamers. Making your sweetest dreams come true. Your sweetest dreams come true? No! That was exactly what I heard. A hundred percent that. Back it up. Wait, There's wait, another wait, wait. line. But before we listen to it, yeah. what could it actually even sweetest, be? Sweetest, sweetest oh, dreams. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> but... I think it's sweetest. Oh, man. That one more time. One. I heard it. Dreaming up dreams for me and you. You're not dreaming, it's the moon dreamers. Making your sweetest dreams come true. <laughs> Still. In that child voice, too? Yeah. Yeah. It means sweet dreams both near and far from a beautiful magical star. You're not dreaming, it's the moon dreamers. Helping to make things turn out right. You're not dreaming, it's the moon dreamers. Moon dreamers. Make your dreams take flight. Take a sweet ass Ooh, fly. <laughs> three writers on this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, took three this is gonna be writers. good. This yep. is gonna be good. Whimsy, our dream oh, is that a hog woggle? That's a hog woggle. I love this design. I'm this is not. great. I'm creating it's a, a new dream kin. For a dream tonight. It's a dream kin. Hey, Whimsy, can you mosey along a my bit faster? I may <laughs> put the dream crystals into them stars. But it takes time to create good dreams. You can't hurry, genius. Everybody's an I architect. Know, Whimsy, but we do have yep. a deadline to meet. Fiddle stars. Surfer dude, is he coming? Always hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> what have I done? My stars. It's... <laughs> It's I would totally have a stuffed king. animal of this guy. Yeah, I don't. Real? I couldn't find any record you of the Dream Can being an action figure. Oh, Custom yeah. figures are available. Mm -hmm. She's like the Wiz nerd. I like him too, Whimsy, but he can't be here while we work. It's like Rambo. Okay. I'll yeah, we're in Rambo. Room. I don't know. He's probably under the couch. <laughs> now you stay. I got a Dream Can over here. Lift higher, Fizzy. I love the sound effects. Classics. That one, I mean. Nick, would you trade heads of hair with the Dreamkin? <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. Would you trade wings with the Dreamkin? <laughs> the Dream Machine should work now. The lights! Hey! We're not getting any positive And like My Little Pony, they all have the symbols 
they would also um, glow on the toys. On their butt? Or no? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, it looks like it's on their chest. Or... Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. That answers that question. The Dreamkin answers all our mullet. questions. My positron yeah, power that's scanner true. shows that he's loaded with positron <laughs> energy. What happened? So what does the Dreamkin do? He stole the scanner's power. Crystal. He gives sweet all ass dreams. dreams. <laughs> yeah. Power you can have just regular old sweet dreams, but then the you can also have sweet ass dreams. <laughs> the little girl said at the beginning. <laughs> he's absorbed the loaded. He's absorbed the power of the positron that imbues the dream crystals. With it's already the dreams. too much. It's already too much. Yeah. <laughs> Where is this in the run of show? Is this like the first episode? Middle, no. I'm glad they're mentioning positrons, these subatomic particles. I don't know. He is a riddle. But riddles do contain their own answers. There's only one answer for now. Whimsy, you have to take him someplace far away where he won't affect our machines. Why me? Because you created him, so he's your responsibility. She's the god, too. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. But I'll miss him. So she's basically oh. driving him to a farm to, you know, kind of... Right. Put him down? They're like, we, we can't keep him, so he's just she's going to drive him out to the woods or something. and Burlap sack. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, this is where I want to be. New way to break into Stariop. What's this character's name? Better work, Grimace. Oh, it will, Queen Scowlin. Is that the, uh... Is that Scowlin? Scowlin? Yeah. Yeah, that's Scowlin. Ooh. Scowlin and so, Grimace. Yep, so, but Grimace, you know, there's already a very popular character named Grimace, but this was Professor this Grimace, old, so I guess... This is the only Grimace I know. Would you trade <laughs> eyebrows with him, Nick? I would absolutely would, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's Great Grimace question. with an S. <laughs> Uh, yeah, or, or grim ass. Grim ass, yeah. <laughs> I don't like the character designs on this cartoon. In By gone, you fool! Start the propeller. Oh yes, my master. Your wish is but my command. Peter Cullen. Yes, Peter Cullen, uh, Optimus Prime, did various voices in this. Good sound effects. George, did you recognize his voice just by hearing it? Yeah, he's in like everything. That's not welcome. Bad sound effect, Last Joe. I thought I thought you'd like that one. That's my favorite one. Splat. Nice background. Get me down. Seymour, my inflatable bath pillow. <laughs> May I be of service? I am Cosmo Plutonius Quark, master inventor. I dropped in to see if you'd like to hire me. Your uh, <clears throat> highness. Blast inventions. All I need is to get down from here! Ah, but what you need is my latest invention, the Roto Winger. Here's your new home, Dreamkin. <laughs> it's not really a bad place. We call it Forgotten Valley. They're just Valley. getting this burlap, burlap sack. And... <laughs> Goodbye is hard to say. Yep, there's songs. Oh, Taking him out to the farm. Yeah, exactly. You're a jury musician. I want you to evaluate the musicianship and the uh, melody of the song, okay? Goodbye is hard to say sometimes. Goodbye can be so hard to do. Puts him in a grave. <laughs> Double. It kind of sounds like an Angelo Battle of Menti. <laughs> like a Twin Peaks. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe season two. Right. I misunderstood this lyric. Don't you Farted. <laughs> yeah. From a, your sweet After ass. we have. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's definitely farted. This is like me and every girl who tries to break up with me. <laughs> you keep appearing? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, George. <laughs> Goodbye. Back, are, back, back at your front door. <laughs> you are a giant, to, George. <laughs> back to the cemetery. Get off of my car, George. <laughs> <laughs> it's me slinking away naked with wings. <laughs> yeah. Poor George. Oh well. All right, there's part one of Moon Dreamers. I can't so wait to see what happens. What Sweet. will happen with the Dreamkin? <laughs> Why did she have to drop the Dreamkin off at the planet? 
I think he was too powerful and he was absorbing all their positron things and so they had to drop him off because he would be I don't know. He he would make the positron ineffective. Meanwhile, this new inventor has come in to Skaleen and offered her a, an invention that we'll see more of in part two. So don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What uh, yeah. what toys like? Because my sister had strawberry shortcake, and their gimmick was that they all smelled like uh, fruit flavors. And um, uh, my uh, Rainbow Bright. I don't know. This is probably before your time, Caitlin. What were your toys? Yeah, I mean. Oh, what did I have? I think yeah. the ones that I had that would fall into this category were like Polly Pocket. I really liked oh, yeah. Polly Pocket a lot. Yeah. And what was her uh, gimmick? That she was tiny. She could fit in your oh, pocket okay. and all her stuff was tiny. So you could get like a little a little part plastic heart shaped thing or something and open it up and there's a whole little world in there with her, you know, stuff, whatever. Little I don't mug know. That's to cool. say Caitlin. Yeah, a little mug to say Caitlin. And, yeah. and and uh and I had, let's see, pound puppies. And oh, yeah. so I was never really a Barbie kid. I never liked uh, My Little Pony. I really liked Cabbage Patch Kids. I had a lot of yeah. Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, and, and right. like Treasure Trolls, too. Yeah. Didn't they oh, have yeah, those, the trolls? Didn't they have those dolls that you'd give it water and then it would pee later? Yeah, I never had one of those. <laughs> though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they had, they had both them. dolls and dogs that did that. Right. My yep. Puppy Puddles. Right. Oh yeah, I yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah. GI Joe, they didn't have that. They That's always the held it in during the, <laughs> the long mission. But you could still give them water, though. Yeah, but they would still it's hold it face would change color. Yeah, right. I yeah. like to think that cartoons are less gendered now. I feel like the the modern My Little Pony had a lot lot of uh, male fans, and oh, I don't famously know. so, it like spurned the bronies, so. you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but we have commercials now, George. What have you curated for us? Well, at your suggestion, Nick, you, um, I picked out other toys and related uh, products that were glow in the dark, like um, the hair the of the dreamers. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Command control. Luckless racing with passing, blocking. Watch out! Obstacle. Nobody controls that third car. Command control. And when you turn out the lights, look at that, would you? That's Tycho's Night Glow, lighting up the dark like crazy. The only never really more really like excitement. That. They no. flew off the track. Control. You have With to shine a light on them. Tycho, of course. Cool gimmick, though. Now there's a difference in action figures. The difference is light. Lord Lords of Light action figures. The Night Ranger? Ranger? Light rods make the difference. Lords of Light. They glow in the dark and the light. Luma, Herculite, and Futurion battle the evil light. So they have glow Edgar sticks Dementia, inside of them. Mekos and Laborio. I, I like that the villain is named uh, Emperor Dementia. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. They're mechanized creatures of the Manions. I bet these got recalled. I bet they lasted over. I bet they lasted a week. Yeah, they probably lasted two days. Cool idea. Cool song too. Rave. Yeah. Everyone thinks my new glow in the dark box is so much fun. Oh, I thought the cereal was gonna glow in the dark. My guests have always enjoyed the double chocolatey taste, but this is ridiculous. It's a terrible gimmick. Yeah, the box glows. Who cares? You eat it in the morning too when it's light out. Yeah, true. Now I see the light, and you can too with the glow in the dark mark box of Count Chocula. I mean, in the cover, it'll glow in the dark. True. Glow paint used for TV. I like the rock and roll moves. Yeah. What's on? Tubular radical. Glow in the dark. Bandit grand bandit. It's now. On your hand, on your nose, in the dark. It glows. It's bad. It's bad. It's easy to see. One stuck on bandit. It's bad. It's stuck on me. You can stretch me, bounce me, mold me. You can even pop me. You can do anything with me, but you can never hide me, cause I'm a glue blob. 
I can be a ball. <laughs> I can be a blob. I can make a big impression. Print a comic. I can be anything you want. Bounce me here, stretch me there. And in the dark, I'll do anything you dare. I'm a glow blob. He's kind I'm of a sub in fun. the sub dom now, world, I think. Yeah, yeah he's, he's GGG. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could do anything. I'm your doormat. <laughs> it's rem that reminds me all of these of this awful thing I did when I was a child, which is like I had a glow in the dark nail polish. It's just clear nail polish, but it glowed yeah. in the dark. And I was really little, and I thought uh, it would be cool <laughs> if I put it on my teeth and then had my invited my parents into my room, turned the lights I'm, off, and smiled. I'm with you so far. I'm right there with you I, so I, far. I thought it was going to be so funny, and I did it. And of course, they were you know horrified, and I got punished. And, <laughs> and they so, had to pump. You know, your, they had to pump your stomach too, right? right so, I mean, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Nail polish was they, the they most toxic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it looked really cool. So yeah. and no harmful effects. Uh, yeah. you know, you not a few brain cells. Right. But, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> All right, there's, I think, just three minutes left of huh. this Moon Dreamers episode. <laughs> the plot okay. continues. And, did, you, uh, did you edit this down? No. This is, you did? Uh, this is the full running time? This is the full running time. I, well, I think I cut out maybe 30 seconds, but in general. Uh, now, no. there's no way they're going to leave the Dreamkin on the planet. The Dreamkin's going to come back down to the, their planet with them, right? So, But what? how we'll are they going to – how how are they going to – what was it? The positrons? Like, how are they going to – Yeah diminish the positron attraction from the dreamkin well the answer will be overly complicated stay tuned <laughs> now back to saturday morning cartoons all right they're gonna these inventions that the guy gave her are going to fly up and replace the actual moon crystals that provide the good dream like try to follow this. we'll fly it, to it, starry up and replace yeah well I was going to say, just a reminder, three writers on this one. Three writers, yeah. So. Yep. And she's not trying to give them nightmares? Like, that would seem she, like the logical thing. She is. is. I, okay. Yeah, she's trying to give them nightmares so that oh, they'll okay. stay up and be cranky the next day. These roto-wingers will fly to Starry Up and replace the Moon Dreamer's real dream crystals with thousands of my scowly dream crystals. Then all the Earth children will have horrible scowly dreams. <laughs> oh, meanness. I, I mean, queenness. I don't like this. Silence, or you'll join Grimace in the tower. Tonight, I'll beat the Moon Dreamers by sheer numbers. <laughs> it's that she's telling him about this during production. You think, like, before she built them, she made right. them. Yeah. I already miss my little dream kid. George. <laughs> Now it's just stuck. Yeah, it's, it's unhealthy, George. Just metal. Crystal, I'm back. Good, because we need lots more dream crystals. Quickly, I'll do my best. Turn on the dream machine, Sparky. Not again. Boink. Dreamkin, yeah, love I thought I left you in the Forgotten Valley. We're really in trouble now. I'll increase the flow of positron power from the Forever Fountain. Uh oh, I'm not getting From the Forever anything. Fountain. Okay. Do you suppose he emptied the Forever Fountain? If Earth kids have bad dreams tonight, the power level may never build up again. We have to kill him. <laughs> it's one of those classic things where do you sacrifice one creature for the betterment of the whole society? Oh, look, the dream can turn that scowly dream crystal into a blank dream crystal. I have an idea. Maybe we can dreamcast tonight after all. Sparky, Second do dream we cast? have enough power left to add <laughs> dreams to blank dream crystals? Yes. Whimsy, the Dreamkin must change all those scowly dream crystals into blank dream crystals. We should do a drinking game with how many times they say dream. <laughs> He's changing the scowly dream crystals into blank dream crystals. <laughs> we need somebody to draw me a diagram of yeah. uh, how... Okay. So... And this is for young kids, too. Like... There's not enough action. There's if there was a live action. action, who would you have to play the Dreamkin? I'm thinking Bobby Moynihan. <laughs> oh, I could see that. Sure. Oh, I was going to say John Lovett. Mm -hmm. I think uh, John Lovett. Oh, so John Lovett's is good, but he's too, yeah. he's too cranky. Uh, oh, they'd be an SNL alumnus. That's for sure. Yeah. Listen, I, now, this to me sounds like my Sharona. Still... Bye, Sharona. Oh, hey, yeah. my... It's all up to you. My Dreamkin. Oh, so he can, he can kill things. Yep. 
He's a murderer. Oh. Yeah, this is a genocide of those creatures. <laughs> we gotta that get to the Dreamcast and play Crazy Taxi 2! I need more Roto Captain Fingers. Crunch? But, but the machine <laughs> will overload! She'd be a great, like, drag queen character. Oh, Scalene, yeah. Right. You, Even the name. You, you quack! You phony! You're fired! What a coincidence! I quit! Now, how can I help I like his ship. I guess that's kind of damage much that I've done. You did it, Dreamkin! You got them all! Oh, no! You murdered you all of them! <laughs> There's a still here where it kind of, to looks me, like it, it kind of looks like he has full male the genitalia. Dream the Dreamkin? The Dreamkin? I saw it. Yeah, did you see it, George? No, yeah, I want to see oh, it. Yeah, I was, I was, okay. I'm all always right. looking at cartoon channels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it does! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the animator was having some fun you with think it. They oh, got yeah. some, do you think the animator got away with one there? Yeah. That's great. Hung, hung like a lomer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess they don't get circumcised. You've used up all your own energy. A dreamkin. Say, you don't see many of these anymore. Looks like what you need are some happy thoughts. My little Dreamkin is back to normal. George, can you oh, look I'm up if they ever made Dreamkin all toys? I didn't see any, on. but... I like that we all faster. always have our eyes we on the crotches of Scott cartoon Lee characters. Right. All Dan times on this. A uh, Shattered Morning cartoon, home. that's a guarantee. My pleasure. Yep. A we'll crotch travel to all the will not go on Crotch notice. and ass. Maybe we'll sell well, an invention or two. Dreamkin, I'll miss you so. Sweet ass. The end of old yeller. Oh no! It's almost time to dreamcast, and I never want to be late again. We gotta play Shenmue. From now on, when you create new dreams, please take your time. Don't know any of these games. After all, yeah, we know we can't cast. hurry. Yeah, you. clearly. <laughs> So everything ended up okay then, right? Yeah, it turned out I okay. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We never met these guys. And Marvel, so that is uh, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wow, that's wild. George, was there a... Uh... I found nothing. Okay. Yeah, uh, I don't think that ever spun off. I think so there bad. there are others that appear in the in other episodes. It's not, I thought I thought you were suggesting that it, it only appeared... Oh, the Dreamkin? Movie. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently there are... There, a few other Dreamkins. There, you know, I'm looking at the Wikipedia page, and uh, it's there's sparse. a list of uh, notable Dreamkin. I think ah. that, so, and there are four listed. We saw so. the origin story. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So this, uh, you might recall, like pages like this. Most often, we're in the like Sears uh, Christmas catalog, the Sears Wish Book, or the J.C. Penney Christmas mm -hmm. catalog, which I coveted. I have a few from the '80s that I. I uh, have found at various shops over the years, and I, I love going through the pages. And this one um, is from 1987. It's the Sears Wish Book. Um, there's a website that catalogs all these, and uh, this one had the the uh, Moon Dreamers in it. So I thought we'd take a little quiz to learn more about the Sears Wish Book 1987. All right. Great yes, idea. All right. All right. Now, I don't... I don't think anybody's really going to know the answers to these, so I'm just going to take the, the answer I like the best. So, um, <laughs> all right. So uh, here's the cover of the uh, Sears Wish Book. Um, and this, uh, let's see if I can find there, There's a website. I'll, it'll, I'll put it in the uh, description that catalog this. I'll give them credit because I, I grabbed these stills from that rather than scan in my own. So here we're looking at um, some dolls, okay? I've got cricket over there. They're all saying things, but I blurred out what this doll is saying, and I want to know what is this doll saying? It's a tall doll. It's called Animated Jill, and it would talk with a cassette tape, kind of like Teddy Ruxpin. Joe, what do you think this doll? Is saying? Uh, I think it's something like uh, let's uh, let let's go jump rope, or something like that. Something Good like guess. let's go jump rope. George, what do you think? I'm Freddy Krueger's girlfriend. <laughs> okay. And what do you think, Caitlin? Um I'll go with please kill me. Okay. Good. I'm a lot like you. Mm. That's, That's terrifying. Wow. Animated chill is saying, yeah. Horrible. Um 
All right, so that's a, that's a starter question. Here's a, a price Ooh. question. Yes. So you know what this is called, Joe and George? The, the Defiant? Right? No, that, I don't know this one. What, the, what is this it, George? Is not the, the Defiant Space Shuttle? Is that? This, this is, oh, that might have been what's in it, but it's the, the whole thing's called the G.I. Joe Space Vehicle Launch Complex. Oh. How how rich do your parents have to be? Exactly. To yeah, this nobody had this. Yeah. No, we all hated this kid. Um, mm. But how much was this in 1987? Um, what do you think? We got the price there. Uh, I'm going to go with $49.99. Okay. I'm going to say and $119. Okay. Yeah. And George? I'm going, I'm going $150. Okay. Okay. And the answer is one forty nine ninety nine. Wow. George is over. George is over. Closest <laughs> without going over. So I think. Yep. And I it was it. the Defiant space shuttle, though. So George, you you get points for that. You That's said correct. Defiant, right? That's correct. And I'm giving Caitlin the best answer for the first question. Um, okay. All right. Now we have some boys' pajamas, <laughs> and they're all characters. Uh, we've got a uh, kid on the left has Ninja. We've got Rambo, every child's favorite movie. Mm -hmm. um, first blood <laughs> and then we got hulk hogan but what saturday morning cartoon that we've watched in the past is on this kid in the rights pajamas mm, can we watch that? i was gonna say smoke up bitches but no, uh, no, with, no, the, with a stoned bart simpson um, um i'm just gonna stick with that St uh, stone okay. bart simpson saying smoke yep. up bitches uh, okay, the, Simps the, the simpsons then. the yeah, adventures uh, of fawn hall oliver north's secretary caitlin <laughs> Um, hmm. I will go with uh, hmm, the Dukes. Good guess, but it is actually Brave Star, and he's wow. holding a Brave Star gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how joyful this kid is to have a gun. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yep. <laughs> All right, Brave Star, of course. All right, now wrestling superstars. Joe, I know you had a bunch of these. You and your yeah, brothers. We had, yeah, yeah. We had like five or six of them. The dog would always chew them up, too. They all had dog marks mm. in them. They didn't bend, right? They were just rubbery and you could kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah they were like pure rubber. There's a, a recurring character in the Sears Wish book. It's like a professor that gives you little fun facts or educational tidbits you might want to know. So what is the professor saying about these WWF uh wrestling figures joe uh uh wrestling is fake I'm okay that. george what do you think uh time to report the uh what your neighbor did to you i don't know i don't <laughs> okay and caitlin <laughs> um steroids make your penis shrink <laughs> okay uh that's close it's actually action figures offer early school age children an opportunity to create make-believe adventures <laughs> that's what that's what the drunkyard dog okay. was doing and his um, shoes his shoes everything yeah. about him is i think wrong. they're cons yeah they're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um all right this is um these are the stuffed animal categories uh wrinkles i vaguely remember wrinkles Me too. uh sort of like pound puppies but they were all like bloodhound sort of they're slippers and we got some care bear knockoffs on the right but what is behind this blur here? You can sort of see the color. <laughs> what is the stuffed animal behind that blur? Uh, uh, a dreamkin. I'm going to say a dreamkin. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Good guess. George Kalen. Heart to heart bear. Oh, wait. That's oh. the right. That's right. Um, I'm going to say it's oh. Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Skateboard model. Okay. I was gonna and, say Teddy Ruxpin. I'll say it's a um, a wuzzle. Wasn't that a thing? Oh I'll yeah, wuzzles were a okay. thing. Yeah, right. good guess. It is actually everybody's Aww. favorite alien. Should have known by the blur this. color. Yeah. Yep. Eighty-seven. <laughs> they had to put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Here's another one. Uh, now sleeping bags, and um, they they came in these carrying cases, and a lot of times they had matching tents. George, you got me an Alf tent. And I've got the elf sleeping bag in that little carrying case. But what is behind this blur? Uh, those, uh, I think, what do we have there? My Little Pony, Sesame Street, Gem, and Pound Puppies. Um, but what's behind this kid's uh, blur? He's got the tent and matching sleep bag, sleeping bag. Uh, I'm going uh, Rambo. I'm thinking okay. Rambo. He looks like a Rambo kid. I'll say G.I. Joe. Mm. George? Oh, 
Uh, I'll go with Punky Brewster. Okay. Again, I was alive at this time. I th thought I had my finger on the pulse of uh, IP, but no, this is a Brave Star again. Somehow wow, had the star. big, yeah, the big spread uh, of the seven. Huh. Kind of a cool sleeping bag. I don't mind that sleeping bag art, but yeah, yeah, it looks really warm. Bag. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is a toy line uh, aimed at boys. Um, I've blurred out the name of the toy line, so let me just, I'll take you through a little uh, tour of all the toys here. But what's it called? Joe, what do you think this toy line is I, called? It's, see, the connection's blurry, so everything's blurry. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to say um, uh, Star Dazzlers. Star Dazzlers? Okay. Yep. I'll say uh, Sweet Ass Ships. <laughs> okay, and George? Um George Clinton's Space Command. Okay, let's take a look. It's actually oh, Air Raiders. Raiders. Right. Did you know those? I had never I, heard of these before. I, I think mine was pretty close. I believe we should. Yeah. I showed a commercial of them. Um, what was and the gimmick? Did they fly or I don't know? The figures. No, were pretty... it was. So, there were a whole bunch of them that were really similar, like Ring Raiders and like. Oh the yeah, Ring that, Raiders. Yeah. The ones that had like the Sky Commanders and like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, and then um, this is. Uh, I think there's two more. We got Popples. Did you have Popples, Caitlin? My sister I did have Popples. a Popple. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These were balls, like furry balls that you could uh, un. Turn inside out, and then they were. Somebody gave like us a head, popple on our last tour, legs. Nick. Somebody, uh, somebody's oh, like, "Oh, hey, that's you, right, you need a popple." Yeah, yeah. But they had they had the generic popples that were just different colors. But then they started branching out into like baby popples. Uh, here we had sports popples. But what was the type of popple behind this blur right here? Uh, scientists popples. Okay, good guess, George. Um. Uh, uh, pharmaceutical rep popple. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Caitlin, what, what do you think these were? I'll say um, customer service popples. <laughs> okay. These were actually punk rock popples. Uh, nice. Rock popples. And they were called, uh, their names were called uh, punkster popple and punkity popple. So that's oh, okay. uh, those creatures. Uh, lastly, what is the toy line behind this blur? Uh, it's based on a Saturday morning cartoon we've watched in the past. Uh, teenage uh, Brave Star. I'm going to go Brave Star. I think you're going to bring it back okay. one more time. Brave Star. George? Um, I think it's the Saturday morning cartoons uh, gang, the toy line that, that may exist. That was popular. Yep. Caitlin, what do you think? I'll say Chuck Norris. Oh, good guess. It was... Brave Star owned yes. the Sears 1987 wish book. Yes. They were just all over it. Uh, for some reason, we watched the drug episode with Kyle Mooney, and that is the Sears wish book, 1987. Quiz. Uh, well, everybody did very well. Um, who won? And I think that I could I be did, a right? future game. Yeah, Joe, you won that one. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. During Women's History Month, really? Oh, <laughs> Next, no. Thanks a lot. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Um, how dare God, you? What have, I, what have I done? What have how I done? How dare you give me this win? I think well, I'm glad to live in a world where cartoons are no longer super, super gendered, that we can all just have cartoons that everybody likes. Um, that's my takeaway from all of this. Uh, but George, do you have a takeaway that maybe we haven't thought of? Um, Hi, I'm George from Saturday Morning Cartoons, and this is One to Shadow. I Mood Dreamers. Want the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember that part. Yeah. yeah. Moon Dreamers offer, offers a lesson for all of us. When Neil Armstrong took that fateful first step on the moon, little could he have known it would reveal the presence of its sprightly native creatures who had the power to infiltrate our dreams and lull us into a false sense of security with pleasurable images and sensory inputs. But now, caught in the sixth decade of a cataclysmic mind war with these miniature monstrosities at the terrifying twilight between nightmarish consciousness and sweet-ass insensibility, 
We are <laughs> inured to this unending invasion of our hopes and dreams. Of course, the Moon Dreamers' toys and cartoons were part of their plot to lower our resistance. But I urge humanity to fight on and continue to stay awake for as many days as possible in a row, just like me. And that's what the shadow. Beautiful, precious. Yeah, that was beautiful. Excellent. Good lesson. We even worked in a sweet ass in there too. Which yeah. I was happy yeah. to see. I'm glad I wrote that before, and it just Incredible. so happens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're watching this, you know, Saturday, early March. My question is: By Sunday, will you remember anything about the Moon Dreamers? I just had to remind myself of the, of the word dreamkin, and that was two minutes ago. <laughs> like dream boy? I'm trying to hope and I have a moon dream tonight. I mean, Aww. it could happen. What if we do? What if we all have uh, moon dreams tonight? I mean, it could yeah. happen. I hope Is so. Is that a Van Morrison song? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, moon dreamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just hope that the blank crystals were able to be converted into good dream crystals right. uh, by the positrons so that uh, Scowleen doesn't intercept us with right. but the dream can, dreams. The dream king couldn't convert it back to the positrons. No. So hopefully right. he was that... absorbing too much and then he got, yeah. So exactly. That's... So like if he's able to absorb more which I don't know. How did that resolve? Was he able to absorb more, or he wasn't able to resolve absorb? He was able to kill. They, That's what they, they able to kill. He was able to kill. They reharnessed his power. Right. This would have been a problem if our domestic supply of dream crystals was maintained without reliance on foreign <laughs> dream crystals. Yes, right. I know it's so true. I guess Fracking. the other thing I learned is that dreamkins are anatomically correct. Uh, <laughs> so I they think got dongs. They have dogs. Yeah, well, they have yeah. to be able like to reproduce somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that is Moon Dreamers. Check it off the list. We did yes. it. And it's we did it. next week. Happy, Happy, well, let me say first, Happy yeah. International Women's Day, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. And, Thank you. and Happy, Happy, Happy Saturday. Saturday.